Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So today we got to talk about Paul George walking back his comments that he and Draymond was making about Victor Wembanyama when talking about his adjustment to the league. Now, one thing I've always maintained, you go back and listen to old videos, specifically the one after Victor had that rough uh, summer league game in his first summer league, then he came back and he was a monster. I predicted that Victor Wimbenyama's growth will be by leaps and bounds. So you could see Victor Wimbenyama one month, then you see him four or five months down the road. While he's developing, he's going to look like a totally different player. And he's added, what, 20 pounds of muscle um, since the beginning of Summer League to the preseason. So this guy has been putting in work. And you can see with just that little bit of extra strength how much his game has gone to another level. And this is still just scratching the surface. But we're going to take a look at what Paul George said initially and what he's saying now. Let's peep. Wimby obviously went first this draft. Hell of a talent. But some of the shit that I've seen, we're not letting him do that. How would you guard him? You're not just dribbling through me like the Harlem. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got to press up into him. If you let him get comfortable, you lose mm -hmm. because you're not blocking his shot. He may not even see your contest. I'm crowding him from the time he start running up and down the court. You also get to a certain height where it becomes a disservice in this league. Once you get to this level, you're going to run up against guys who's way stronger, that moves as fast or faster, and they play way lower to the ground. And as you know, low man wins. But I'm going to tell you what I think separates him, him as a rim protector is as elite as we have in the NBA. Teams are always looking for rim protectors. There's someone in the NBA getting paid as a rim protector, probably more money than you, Pete, which is a lot of money. He from France, too. He is from France. <laughs> he gets paid a lot of money. I thought, Opportunities to watch him. I, I take back everything I said. <laughs> he looked good, bro. I, Cheat and, I, and I knew he was going to be successful in the league, but I thought it was going to be tougher than what he's making it look right now. Um, just because of his size, you know, our, our, our level of play versus what he was used to playing. Like, I thought that was going to be an adjustment period for him. Um, granted, I mean, he still hasn't played right. the right. league yet. Right, um, right. But <laughs> some of the stuff he doing, dog, like Chat the lob, it. he like threw it to the wing call for the lob at the three-point line as soon as he <laughs> threw it, it under the dude's leg. Yeah. Like front-cutted him. Yeah, front-cut him <laughs> and the dude threw the lob and he was like uh, it was just a crazy play. Like He just threw it up like knowing nobody else can go get that. Dunked it. He got dribbled. Then he did a, like, a fast break. He euro without taking a dribble. <laughs> From like the free throw line, flushed it. I'm like, bro, did you no see, one stopping that? Did you see him? He was defending in the corner, contested the shot. Somehow the, they got the offensive people got the rebound yeah. again. Someone drives in. The guy like covers twenty feet of the floor. Yeah, swipes the steal. I've seen that. And then when he get that, the and one he then got he out, gets the yeah. ball, and it's just break. like, bro, he looks comfortable yeah. out there. So I think PG and Draymond underestimated how quick the transition would take. This is going to happen as he plays games, and he's not going to be anywhere near his prime by the end of this season, but watch Wimby on opening night. Watch him mid-December. Watch him mid-February, and if they're fortunate enough to get a play-in, playoff spot, watch him there. And just, I'm just telling everybody that's not really fans of the game. I know some of y'all know what you're looking for, but some of the other people that's just watching, like, really watch Wimby and look at the maturation of his game. He's going to make the game simpler as he gets more comfortable. Do you, people recognize what he has at his disposal? You know, he has all those champions. They all came back to San Antonio to impart in Wimby, you know, and, and he got Tim Duncan at his disposal. So there's going to be two sides to Wimby. You're going to have, like, the ball handling, three-point shooting, crossovers, all that. You're going to have that part of his game. But as he gets stronger, look for him to do some more of the Tim Duncan stuff. Put you on the left, right block, turn around, kiss it off the glass, catch it in the paint on the move, just go over the top. He's going to do a lot of things to make the game more simple. And more simple is 
the best recipe for him because nobody Draymond did say that in his assessment he says that he may not even be able to see your contest and I think that is going to be the portion of, of Wimby's game that when he can get post position and get anywhere he wants to on the floor at a given time it's going to be lights out for everybody because really what can you do with that touch that he has on his jump shot you have to respect him all the way out to the three point line and that same side court alley-oop, that is one of the most impressive plays. I said it when I seen it because you're used to someone having to be on the opposite side of the floor. But he's so lengthy that he passed to the wing and he was, well, the guy was kind of in between the baseline and the wing and Wimby was between the top of the key and the wing. And he caught a same side of the court alley-oop. That just blows my mind to even think about it as a, you know, just coming up playing ball and different things like that. So this guy can do some things we never seen. So Paul George and Draymond Green, I, I would like to hear what he has to say. But Paul George, you know, and, and he's right. Like, you, you really can't believe that a young kid can grow this fast, this quick, you know. But, hey. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.